Hey guys, Mark Lalonde, AKA The Wealthy Trainer, coming to you from Ottawa, Canada. Now listen, we once again had an amazing mastermind hangout webinar, which we have every Sunday at 2 p.m. Now, we all get together, a bunch of us, and when I mean a bunch of us, I mean, who are we, right? We're a bunch of individuals who all have a network marketing company of our own, okay? Different companies, same goals. We're all trying to build a team. Now, we've all, pretty much all of us, have done the whole war market thing. Friends, family, coworkers. I was even handing out samples at the gym at, some, at one point, getting numbers following up. We all went through all those traditional steps, and now here we are generating leads online, on the internet, and we're converting those leads into our team. So this is what we have in common. This is what drives us. Now, many of us are already successful. So we're bringing a lot of stuff to the table on these Sunday webinars. One thing to note is that these webinars are extremely exclusive. They're private. It's really no real access to the public. But once in a while, when the value is so intense, I put it out there, and this is an example of that. I'm putting this last Sunday's webinar out here to you today, so you gotta check it out. The value is unbelievable. Remember, many of us are already six-figure earners in this forte, in this industry, in this space, and we've done it with online marketing by generating leads online. Now, if it's something you think you may benefit from or if it's something you may, you think you may be able to contribute to well maybe you want to be part of this group i'm not sure if you do if you want to inquire about it just go to our facebook group and request to be added what i will do is i'll look over your request i'll, I'll, I'll contact you we'll have a little chat and maybe you're a good fit maybe you could bring something to the table or maybe you can learn and grow as well. Now our Facebook group, I'm gonna put an image up top here, but all you gotta do is go to asklalonde.com front slash TLC group, TLC for Team Life Change. So that's asklalonde, A-S-K-L-A-L-O-N-D-E.com front slash TLC group. Now again, guys, this is kind of where this industry is going. If you're not generating leads online, if you're not recruiting teams on the internet, I mean, that's where this whole space is gravitating to and we really are on the forefront of this. So even if you're not interesting and interested in participating, I gotta tell you, check out this webinar and get the value. Grab a pad, grab a pen, take notes and apply what you learn because it's pure gold. It's pretty well pure gold every Sunday. So see you on the inside and enjoy guys. There's that ugly face. I got to tell you, Timo, you don't need to be a male model to be an online marketing. Thank God. It's not, it's not a requirement. Okay, guys, come on, pile in. I need to get on Facebook Live, but I will need something from you today, okay? I need you to get one of these paper and one of these Sharpie. I'm gonna give you the ultimate sticky brand formula. So you're gonna have to do circles, boxes, and create your plan. So if you want your business to be sticky, go get a pen's going to do too. You're going to need something big enough. Sheet of paper is better. A little notepad won't be enough. If you have it lined up, it's fine, but you need to really, we'll be drawing today. We'll be using your artistic talents. Let me do this Facebook thing while you guys go and get your stuff. Pen, paper, you're going to need it. So yeah, guys, you know what I'm going to do? Pen and paper ready? Okay. I'm going to open the QA. Woo, we got a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of lives are gonna change. Honestly, this is a bit of a forward thinking webinar, but you can take action now and you will take action now. Nico, what's up? 
Mark, Chris, Yvette, Mario, people are piling in, Teresa. There's a whole bunch of people. I'm going to give a couple of shout outs in a sec, but we're going to get going because we have a lot to cover. When don't we, right? Um, come on in. Come on in. Almost there, guys. Almost there. We're getting there. Pile in the questions, guys. Do it now if you can. Anything goes, but we're going to be pretty well to the hour. Six minutes in. Okay. If you want to share, it's cool, but you guys don't even need to share because as you're going to see today, the power is not in the live webinar all the time. Unless you're making a money webinar, which I'll teach you. Uh, you're going to see there's a time and place to ask for money, big time, if you want to do it right. Free content is the most lucrative thing you can do, and I'll explain that. It's super cool. You're going to love this if you get it. Here we are. We're almost on. We're on, but we're almost on here. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh oh okay you know what we're not doing it i'm paying attention to you guys this is too complicated well complicated right it takes up too much bandwidth for some reason if i've got too many live things going on so they're going to see the replay my notes we got notes we got notes. We got notes. This ain't all going to be about fluff. This will be about actionable steps to literally get well known forever with a little bit of proper steps. Okay, guys, here we go. How's everybody doing? Are we doing good today? Are we doing good on this awesome, awesome, awesome Sunday? Um, raw file, the password is gold bar, all lowercase. If you're going for the raw file from last Sunday, okay, guys? That's, uh, put, the, put, put all that stuff in the QA, which I think you're doing. Yes, we go. Um, oh, very good forward. I, I recommend redoing it, Keely, but we're going to get into that at the end, okay? Okay, first thing, first thing, first thing. First thing. Okay, we're going to go with this. Today, you're going to get three free gifts, and you're not going to have to wait. You're going to get them right away as soon as you do the call to action. And the call to action is not a capture page. Don't worry. I'll explain why capture pages are kind of phasing out. So this is going to be kind of cutting edge stuff. And don't don't think the capture pages don't work. They work, but there's a better way, and it's pretty friggin' exciting. So here's the deal for the free gifts. A lot of people ask me, what's the best part of my DMO? And again, we're gonna get into subject matter. The subject matter is a sticky brand formula. You want your brand to be sticky. What does sticky mean? It means, it means people keep coming back. You're sticky. Now, here's the dealio is that I hope this is recording. I think it's recording. Oh, well, if it's not, I'll just do it over. So, guys, here's the you're going to be ahead of the game. People ask me about my DMO. What's the most important part of it? Is it prospecting? Is it making your content? Is it what is it? Which part? My most important part of my day that it's two hours a day without exception more important than prospecting more important than calling back leads more important than calling back leads it is that baby taking care of this baby making sure that i absorb two hours of brand new education every single day this is why I'm able to go like that. That's the, that's the reason. So let's say I got leads that need to be called back. 
Are you guys getting me okay? You're, oh, you're all fine, it's just Mark Davis? Let me know if you see me okay, please, guys. Just say everything, it's all good. It's all good, put it in the chat. Because of the Facebook thing was interfering, we're off, everything's off. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn off all my devices because this is important stuff. So are you guys with me so far about the education? Because I'm, what I'm giving you today is not necessarily congruent with what we're gonna cover today, but it's three audio books that you would normally have to purchase. And there are three audio books that have to do with network marketing. So if you're in network marketing, thank you guys. If you're in network marketing, these are like the three Bibles, and a lot of people haven't read them. So instead of going out and me recommending a book, what I'm going to do is I have the audio versions unlocked full of these three, I would say magical audio books. They're life-changing books, life-changing, full, full versions. I have a special link for you. You can go and listen to it till your little heart's desire over and over and over again. Those are my gifts to you. There are three full versions. I'll tell you what they are at the end, but I'm gonna need you to do something for me. And it's going to be, we're gonna draw out today the sticky brand formula, okay? We're gonna draw it out. That's why I asked you all, and don't take these, uh, these gifts lightly. Don't, please don't. They changed my life, these three books. So I'm going to give them to you, but if you don't take action, it doesn't matter because you'll have the titles. You can go and buy them. And it's not the magic of thinking big, but I highly recommend that one too. These are specifically tailored for network marketing, and I couldn't do my business without it. So what I'm going to need from you, the reason I'm telling you now is because I'm going to get you to draw out with me the sticky brand formula, okay? It's a formula. So you're gonna have it in your own drawing style. Then at the end of the webby, I want you to take a picture of it. If you share the picture of your rendition or your artwork on your wall and tag me, as soon as I see your, that I'm tagged, I'll make sure it's on your wall, I'm gonna email you the, the link to those three books right there and then. So you'll get them as soon as you post it. That cool enough? Fair enough? You want these books. Most of you probably have them. You probably already read them, but an audio format is a double reinforcement. Too much time on that. That's your free gift. That's your free gift. You got your Sharpie. You got your white paper. We're going to get started. Today, we're gonna to break down the sticky brand formula. What's the sticky brand formula? Okay, with all the tips and tricks and all the things we give, all the content we give, if your content ain't sticky, you're doing a lot of work for nothing, okay? Now we're gonna cover immortal content, what that is, how to create immortal content. I'll walk you through the steps so, just today so that your piece of content, first of all, is proper, <laughs> it's properly built, and you have what you need in your piece of content, and then I'm gonna teach you how to make it last forever and be immortal, and bring you leads forever, forever. So let's just go through the overview, then we're gonna break it down. I love to do that. I love to tell you guys what we're gonna cover in bullet form, and then we're gonna attack them one by one. Sound fair? Sound good? Let me grab a sip of tea. Now, branding yourself is key. Branding yourself will bring you riches beyond your wildest dreams if you become a brand a well-known brand. I, I believe we all know this. Now, you can have sticky content and you can have a sticky blog. They're different. Sticky content is, sticky content generally means people are going to watch your whole piece of content because it's sticky. The statistics are absolutely crazy of how many people leave your video before it's done. It's 15%, it's less. I should have got the stats. But people don't sit through your whole content. There's certain things you need to do. And that's why you want to make it sticky. You want to get their attention, you want to capture them. 
We're going to go through the components of what you need to do. So when your con piece of content is sticky, that's a good thing for the piece of content. But really, what's that going to get you? It's going to, it depends. Depends on your call to action, right? Every piece of content needs a call to action or you're just wasting your time. You need to ask the user to do something. We'll go through all, this, all the pieces of the puzzle in a piece of content. Now, a sticky piece of content is one thing, but a sticky blog, whoa, that's another thing. That's way better. That's way better. A sticky blog means people keep coming to your blog, which is housing a lot of your content. I hope this kind of makes sense here. Now, because I'm getting somewhere, I'm getting somewhere. If you have sticky content going out all the time, the call to action, the call to action is to bring people to your blog all the time. And once they get to your blog, your blog is sticky. People want to keep coming back to that. Well, then you have a sticky brand. You are sticky. You are sticky. When people see Mark Lalonde, I want them to say, what's he selling? I want to buy it. What I get emails all I get emails daily. This is not to brag because I don't sell anything. My stuff is free. People don't like that, but I got I'm gonna tell you why I do this. People are going to want to buy from you so badly that they're going to ask you, what are you selling? I want to buy it. I have my credit card out. I get that every day. And how do I do that? Because I've built myself a very, very sticky brand. So that's what you have to look forward to after today. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. So who's ready for that? Who wants a sticky brand? If you want a sticky brand for yourself, for your name, for whatever your blog is, if you want a sticky brand, say I. Put I in the chat. I want to see a bunch of eyes. And we're going to get going. We're going to get going. So. I'm sure there's going to be some eyes. If there's not, you're in the wrong place. I'm just kidding. So here we go. I'm not, I'm not kidding. So sticky content, sticky blog. Awesome. You guys are ready to go. I'm ready. I'm into super glue. Super glue. Yes, 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 yes. Ready, 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 ready. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go into sequential order. We're going to draw it out. Sequential meaning we're going to start with creating your piece of content, because you can't have a sticky blog without sticky content. You can't have a sticky brand without a sticky blog. It's hard. You want to go in this order. Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. Who's ready with their markers? You guys ready for your with your markers and pens? I'm going to draw with you. So what we're going to start by doing is we have a white paper. I recommend putting it landscape because we're going to go Half will be content, half will be blog. And these are steps. These are these are more than steps. This, this is like, you'll get all the components. You'll get everything here. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's like you're creating your own, your own literature. And by the way, I'm going to teach you guys. Hey, Thomas, welcome. Monica, Patricia, what's up? Cindy, Rhonda, a bunch of people just piling in. We're going to max out. We're gonna, well, we're going to max out. We're, we're packing the house. I know better, no more thousand limit there because things are getting sticky. Things are getting sticky for me. I'm in a very sticky situation and it's like dreamlike. To the point, first thing you're going to, I'm going to ask you to do is, I'm going to do it first. And remember guys, this is the piece of paper that you're going to take a picture of and share on your wall and tag me, Mark M. Lalonde in it. Make sure Facebook tags me. Say whatever you want. Mark Lalonde sucks. I don't care. But he gave us this anyways. Put that up there and mention sticky brand formula and put by Mark or thanks Mark Lalonde or Mark Lalonde talked about this or whatever on your wall. I'll see that. That's all you need to do. I'll see that you tag me. I'll message you in Facebook those three books that changed my entire network marketing career. So number one is, I want you at the top of the page. This is more of a workshop, I like this. To write, hold on. Can you guys see that? Is that straight for you guys or is that backwards? Let me know if you can see that. 
Is that straight or is that backwards? Sticky brand formula. Okay. Mark alone does not suck. Funny story. Somebody, uh, I have a lot of haters out there and I have a lot of fans. So I got way more fans than haters. So somebody uh, told someone else not to follow Mark alone. This happens all the time. People say, don't follow Mark Lalone. He's, he's only been in a business a year. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I ignore that. Don't even pay attention to that, guys. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But one of my followers tore that person apart. I was like, holy crap. I don't have to do any fighting. My fans are doing it for me. They're like, what are you talking about? Mark Lalone knows more than you. And I'm like, don't talk about, don't worry about that. People are going to hate. Let the haters go. We all have our problems. Just be yourself. Maybe don't want to be totally yourself. Off topic again. Are we good? What are we to write again, Patricia? Sticky brand formula. And I'm going to put it in a nice big square because that is the heading. There we go. Let me know it. Oh, you can see it. It's all good, fantastic, straight. Sticky brand formula. Let me know if the pen is okay or if a sharper is good or if Sharpie's better. I just like a pen because I could get more detail in there. Are we good, guys? Do we have the sticky brand formula in place? That's the ultimate goal. This is the goal today. You want a sticky brand. I've only said it a hundred times, and I'll probably say it a hundred more. Now, the next thing you're going to put down is. I'm really excited about sharing this with you guys. Because this is, a, this is, you're about to play with the big boys and the big girls. When you have a sticky brand, it's like your people just keep coming back every day, every day, all the time. Even without you letting them know, they automatically know when to come back. Okay, so here we go. On the left of your page, and on the right of your page, you're going to have two subcategories. Let me, let me do it so it's visual, and then you guys can do it after. Now, for those of you who don't have a blog yet, it's something you're going to want to do. You're going to want to have a blog if you want a brand, okay? So here we go. I'm going to go like this, like this like this as you can tell i'm a very visual guy right so you're going to have on the left you're going to have sticky content and then you're going to have sticky blog those are the two categories is that clear on the screen ray tarley you're going to see why markle alone gives everything for free because giving free content is the most lucrative thing you can do. And I'm going to explain to you how that works. Are we good on that? Sticky content, sticky blog. We're good there? Okay. We're going to start with the sticky content. Before we break it down on how to build it properly and make it sticky, there's a couple of things you got to keep in mind first. Actually, we're going to write it down because there's room here. There, there will be room. I'm kind of trying to position my bubbles. So right under sticky content, you're going to put a bubble like that. You may want to you may want to write down the stuff first to make sure it fits. But in that bubble, I want you to write over deliver for free over deliver for free in that bubble until under sticky content don't worry i'm going to show you how to make money and i'm going to show you how to make a lot of money but just bear with me follow me here there, there there is a method to the madness so over deliver for free and when there's a bubble there that means keep that in mind before you start building that has to be in your mind a lot of leaders are going to argue with me, okay, guys? A lot of leaders are going to say, I sell everything on every webinar. A lot of leaders sell, sell, sell. That's cool. That's cool. I get it. We all have our own things. 
We all have our own ways. But I promise you, while I'm very confident that my method makes more money, I'm very confident that my method makes more money for a lot forever for a longer period of time. It's not a cash grab. I'm not saying other people do cash grabs, but I'm saying we all have different strategies, okay? I have mine, you're here. Doesn't mean if I jump off a bridge, are you going to? No, I'm teaching you what I know works. And I'm really, really, really confident. I read a lot, guys. I know I follow the big, huge industry leaders. But like I said, Lalone the disclaimer, the Lalone disclaimer, just because I do it doesn't mean you have to do it. But I, I yeah. some of you will get it. Some of you will just get it. You'll know. Now, I'll, I'll recommend some people you look up and you'll see this is what they do. These are millions of dollar brands that are worth millions and eight figures and 10 figures. So they're <laughs> over deliver for free. I know a lot of people are scratching your head, but you said money. Bear with me. So. Let's see what that looks like. Right now we've got over deliver for free. Ah, I see Gary V going around in there. I like Gary V for sure. His F bombs. His F bombs are part of his brand, though. Keep that in mind. His F bombs are part of his brand. He is he's very aware when he drops f bombs that this part of his brand they're not just coincidental <laughs> okay so over deliver for free now what we're going to do mm, will i get into the immortal part of it now yeah because that's another circle these are things we're going to take off okay we're, we're going to do this right now we're going to be turning your page in a second Immortal content is very self-explanatory in the title. It means when you make a piece of content, it doesn't dwither away and die. You know, I make a Facebook Live post, or I make a Periscope, or I make... YouTube is different. YouTube is immortal, because YouTube's always out there. People are seeing you every day. It's immortal. It's always alive. But if something goes in your Twitter feed, something goes in your Facebook feed, you make a video per day on a blitz and you do not immortalize that content. Pretty, pretty fancy stuff. By the way, immortal content, trademarked by me. Don't try to get it. It's my book. It's coming out soon. Immortalcontent.com. I coined the term, so I will take credit for that one. <laughs> immortal content. So here we go. I'm going to tell you where to write that. Don't because you're gonna need room here. Let me circle that. We got a little bit of an artistic workshop here. We're doing diagrams. Okay, so our first arrow. You're going to stuff it on the side. See that? Immortal content like that, right beside, because you want your sticky content to also be immortal. It has to be immortal. Now, I'm gonna go through a couple of examples and stories because I, is this working out cool? Is this working out cool? You guys can see that? Does that make sense? There's a reason I'm positioning it like that because there's a lot of mechanics, a lot of brain power that's gonna go in the middle here. Are we good? Are we good? Hey, Roxanne, what's up? Lori, how are you doing? Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you right now about immortal, mm, I'm going to tell you about over delivering for free. Okay. I'm going to give you a Frank Kern example. Um, here's, here's something, here's a case study of how giving stuff away pays in the long term. And it pays more than ever and it will pay forever. People who sell something and people don't really know who they are, they'll buy it. They won't necessarily follow that person all the time. They got the product. It's a real way. Gary V, since Gary V's here, Gary always talks about buying people's attention or day trading people's attention. The more people can see you, the more often they can see you, you become a celebrity. You do. You know, when you tune into a weekly show or a weekly sitcom, you get to know the characters. That's what you want. You want people to always see you. And if you're known as the person who just keeps giving, 
and giving and the stuff works. And if you're asking yourself, why does he always give so much and never asks for anything in return? Well, you're going to get a, a rabid fan. You're going to get fans that actually like you because your stuff works and you're helping them for free. You're going to get a connection that cannot be purchased. That's way more powerful. Trust me. Here's a, here's a little something I want to share with you because I once did a course on picking up girls, okay? Uh, I put it online because I know a lot about picking up girls, right? Just kidding. I didn't do the course. I read the case study. So raving fans, there we go. Um, picking up girls. This is a, a Frank Kern thing. I don't know if you know Frank Kern. He's, uh, uh, he's one of the best online marketers ever, like tens of millions. Per, it's ridiculous. One of the best. Look him up. Frank Kern with a K, K-E-R-N. So picking up girls was his, his, the course he wanted to sell, how to pick up girls. Very easy to target that market. I mean, who's not, who doesn't want to pick up girls, really, in general. Little ladies, just just bear, bear, bear me, uh, hear me out with the story because it wasn't picking up guys. It was picking up girls. Girls usually don't have a pro This webinar is taking a weird turn, isn't it? <laughs> So here's the deal. Instead of selling the course about how to ask a girl out, here's what he did. And it would have sold. It would have sold. It did sell, but he sold a lot more copies. And here's how he did it. He made four pieces of free content before on a weekly basis that worked. And they led to the next piece. And they drew people in because it kept working. So here's what he did. The first video he did was all about eye contact, you know, doing this or you, just eye contact. You got you, you to gotta do eye contact before you ask a girl out on a date. So that was the first piece of content about eye contact. Then he made his followers wait a full week. He gave that away. And because it worked so well, people were using it in bars or wherever. They wanted more. They're like, what do I do next? How do I talk to her? Raving fans, they're like, I want, I want to know more here. Here's my credit card after the first video because they're doing eye contact. That's so much value to him. It was nothing. He knew, he he knew the whole, all the way up to asking how to ask a girl on a date, but he didn't give it all away. He didn't sell it right away. I mean, he gave the eye contact. Then a week later, the video was about approaching the girl. So now you got them doing eye contact, and he, they know how to approach a girl. Well, what do they do now? So they're getting fed the value in little pieces for free. They're like, I can't believe it. I'm able to approach girls now. This is amazing. Here's my credit card, literally. No, not yet. I'm going to give you more free stuff. I'll just keep on going. Uh, people contact me all the time. They're like, tell me the real secrets, Mark. Here's my credit card. It's a good spot to be in. It's a great spot to be in. That stickiness. They'll keep coming back. I wonder what he's going to drop next. That's where you want to be. I'm getting there. I'm just explaining to you the free value model. Video number three, how to talk to the girl. Now we're getting somewhere. First one, video on how to do eye contact, then the approach, then how to talk to the girl. All free. All free. Do you think people are not like almost pissed off because he won't sell them something? There. You can bet there. Not yet. Fourth video, fourth piece of content, how to get their phone number. And then guess what? The fifth piece of content is going to charge an arm and a leg for it. You, you bet your bottom dollar he is. It's going to be very expensive, but it's going to be how to ask her out. Okay, do you guys see how that worked? So instead of selling a little $300 course, he's going to charge a couple of grand. He did charge like 10 grand or something. It's ridiculous. Frank Kern, you could look up the case studies. But he had a raving fans, and he put them through that funnel, or the funnel. That's just one of his examples, but that's his approach to people who just find out who he is. He gives, he gives, he gives. Does that make sense into over-delivering? you got to be patient, okay, guys, when it comes to this kind of stuff. If you're coming into this and you want to make money today, well, do it with your network marketing company. You'll get paid right away. That pays right away. If you start grinding, and if you grind, you can get paid right away. But for a long-term sticky brand, dedicate some of your time with that in mind. 
It's all about free. Again, some leaders are going to disagree with me. We haven't even looked. We haven't even gotten into it. Let's get into it. These are things to keep in mind. Immortal content, I'll leave it at this. I'm going to give you a training that I use on Twitter. It makes my content immortal all the time. As a matter of fact, we're going to, we're going to go to immortal content at the end because I'm going to screen share. I got a screen share at the end. I'll show you how to get your content recycled and re-spit out all the time. That's easy, I'll guide you to training to do that. But right now, let's get into the content itself, okay? I had to say the, 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 uh, how, how free content works. Leave them hanging, yeah, you guys are agreeing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been a series. Yeah, I mean, since we're working on our brand, you see, big releases, like, I won't get into that, I won't, just, We'll, st we'll stay on track because I could go on forever about a certain topic. So right now we're going to break the content up into four sections. I originally got this from Todd Falcon, Ray Higdon, Todd Falcone. I'll go with Ray Higdon, I think. Content intro question, content call to action. That's Ray Higdon, right? Anyone can concur? It's one of them. It's one, it's one of the leaders that I followed when I started. So I'm going to break them down on paper because you need to have these in front of your face. They're in front of my face. They're right there. I'm going to draw them out. First, I'm just going to get you to draw a box like this. Remember, I need a picture of this at the end. Let me see. There you go. A box under your over-deliver for free. Four boxes like that. Can you guys... Get that down? Yeah, it is Ray Higdon, isn't it? People usually use the general format, though. It's pretty well standard across the board. Pretty well standard across the board. An introduction, who are you? A question, what the video is about, the content itself, and the call to action. So we're going to talk about the call to action because this is key here. So what we do is in the first box, write down the word intro. These are the pieces of your content, how to build your, how to build your piece of content. In, intro, second box question, intro question, third box content. I'll, I'll hook you up with good spots to find content to at the end. And fourth box, CTA, short for call to action. So the box should look like this. Intro, question, not questions, question. If there's multiple questions, you do different videos, okay? If you have if you're answering three questions in one, make three videos out of it. So intro, question, content, call to action, CTA. Okay, we're good. We're on track. Now here's where the magic happens. Here's where the money is going to come in. Okay, remember this is free. Your call to action is going to dictate everything. Your call to action very often, I don't know the statistics, but I'll tell you this. Your call to action very often is not actioned on. It isn't, unfortunately. Unfortunately. People are going to watch your video and it's not going to be compelling enough. And they don't want to often enter an email or they don't want to buy something right that moment. Unless you're a super duper salesman. You know, that could happen or if the value is so good in that video. But generally speaking, in one piece of content, to, be, to close somebody, some people do it. I'm just telling you the way I roll. So my call to action is extremely, extremely specific. And this is where the magic happens. Okay? So... Don't write anything down. Let me just tell you what my call to action is. And then I'm going to write it down. And we're going to explain what I mean by content library. Your call to action is to guide these people who watched your video to more value in the form of a content library. I'm going to explain and show to you, show you what I mean by that. 
A content library, well, content is king, right? Good content is king. And a library, what's a library? A library is somewhere you go when you want to reference something, or if you have a question, or you want to find something out. That's a library. Google is a library. But there's a lot of messy stuff on Google. Everything is all messed up. You find different leaders. Nothing is congruent. Once someone finds you and likes you, and we're going to go through that in a second here, you, you are the ultimate tool here. We're getting there. We're getting there. But if you have a content library of your own where you are teaching everything and somebody likes one of your pieces of content and you guide them to a searchable content library of your own like your own little mlsp for example i'll show you what i mean don't say to yourself oh my god that's a lot of content don't worry about that right now don't worry about that right now you can have five pieces of content that could be, if so, just just hear me out. Just hear me out. I don't want you to get overwhelmed and say, I got to build a whole MLSP myself. Well, eventually, you're, when people find you and they find you online, they're finding your stuff over and over again. That's what makes you well known. When I first bumped into Ray Higdon, it was like I kept looking for his stuff. Todd Falcone, same thing. Gary V. Same thing, Eric Worry, same thing. I had to go find it. I had to go find it. There wasn't a very searchable content library of all their stuff. I'm getting carried away, but here's the key. What if that call to action to more value did not require them to fill out an email, a name, a capture page, anything? What if you just said, go ahead, here you go, all the content you need, or you want to you want to point to content that is congruent to what your video is about. And I'm going to talk about something in a second that leader a lot of leaders do not agree with. Again, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways because I know it works. So for me, so and for others. So let's get to a content library. It's in your blog. So here's what I'm going to do: is your call to action. I'm going to circle that. I'm going to circle that. And even if you don't have a content library yet, that's okay. I'm going to show you how mine works. I've got pieces of my library that have nothing in them yet, but I want to show you how to build a proper, proper, proper library for yourself. Again, this is coming. Some of you may not be ready for this. You're still doing, you're leveraging other people's stuff. But if you want to go big, the magic of thinking big, you want, you're going to need this stuff. This is the this is one of the secrets. So let's go. Content library. I'm going to put an arrow that says call to action is to go to my content library, which is my blog. But people like the words content library, I found out. Free content library is good too. So I'm gonna put be congruent. Because you want to be congruent with your video. If you're talking about how to get six pack abs and then you guide them to a piece of, uh, you guide them to a portion of your content library that talks about Facebook ads. And I'm going to tell you why six pack abs because I'm, there's a, you'll see what I mean in a second here when I actually talk about the structure of the content library. Congruent. Okay, so under call to action, go to you. Your call to action is for more information, for more training, for more free training on how to get more leads, how to build a funnel, how to it doesn't matter how to use Twitter, whatever. For more training, usually online marketing strategies is going to be one of your things, but content library be congruent with what the video is. Okay, so we're going, we're getting there. Now here's where the money comes in. Like this. Okay. Here's what I did. You're guiding them up to your blog, right? 
but I want you to put a cloud there. We're going to put something in that cloud because here's where the magic's going to happen. If as they're going here, and in the call to action, I always say now, you don't even have to put your email. This is free value for you. Go check out some more value, more training. Depending on my video, I point them to a part in my blog. I point them to a spot in my blog. And a lot of people are saying, well, that sucks. I'm not even getting an email. Why would I do that? I'm not, I'm not getting anything out of it, but you are. You will be. Let me explain. Can anyone guess what's going to be in this cloud? Can anybody guess what, what's going to happen right here as they go to your blog? You didn't capture an email. You didn't capture anything. Well, you didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't say anything. You haven't captured an email. Can anybody guess what's going to be in that cloud? That's where the money comes in. That's where you can, I mean, it's literally cha-ching here, cha-ching there, cha-ching all over the place with this cloud. I'm going to explain to you. Who can guess what that cloud is? More tea here. Nobody? Bill's your authority? Yeah. People are going to get to know you for sure. They're going to see your content library, and if it's good, they're going to keep coming back because I'll show you my content library. Okay, they love you because you're giving them goodies. Okay, premium. No, you guys are ready? Ready? I'm going to wait a bit. Maybe someone... Uh, Maybe someone will uh, will get this. So my content is, like I said, intro, question, content, call to action. So it'd be something like this. Uh, have you ever struggled with getting leads online? Okay, then, no, that, my intro is, hi, I'm Mark Lohan from Ottawa, Canada. I'm an online marketer. Welcome. Have you ever, just super quick, you'll see my videos. Mark Lohan from Ottawa, Canada. Have you ever struggled with getting leads online? It's like intro, question, super quick. And then you have your little logo or whatever you have going. And then you go into your content, which is what they pay, what they come for, what they want. Your content will be sticky. We're going to get into, for now, that's good because we have to go through everything really quick here. The content library is the key here. So you've got your content. You, there's a lot of elements in the content. You're going to want to be yourself. That's probably the biggest one. But again, we'll come back to that in a sec if we need to. I want to go through the whole process okay let me see ah debbie got it debbie got it debbie got it no not an offer mario this is free debbie got it congratulations debbie 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 deardorf got it the winner is debbie here's the thing people you're not according to the people they're going to be scratching their head they're going to be like this is all free he didn't ask me for anything According to them, you didn't get anything out of them. Brancy got it too. You're going to put a Facebook pixel on your blog, okay? And I won't have time to go through this until next weekend. I'm going to have to do a whole webinar on this because, let me explain here. I'm going to just put right here for now. I'm giving you guys the overview because a lot of this can be searched but you need the whole art the whole flow of everything but the, the pixel i need to do a whole webinar on that because it's so much better than anything i've seen before so much better way better than a capture page way better than a lead i get three to four hundred leads a day they go on my autoresponder unless i'm picking up the phone all day literally they leave phone numbers Try calling back two or 300 new phone numbers a day. And out of the three or 400 leads that come in, goes into an autoresponder. You know how much people open emails, right? This is way better. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why. So what you want to put, you want to write this down. So here's what goes in the cloud. For now, just write this. FB pixel custom audience. FB pixel custom audience in the cloud. You guys notice a lot of you people here probably see me a lot on a daily basis on the internet. I'm just in your news feed. I'll just be there. I'll just fly by. Some of you more than others, but some of you who, who has been to my blog on this webinar? Some of you haven't, but you will after this webinar and you're going to go on my custom audience. Okay, so 
what happens is with a Facebook pixel, without getting into the whole mechanics of it, they're going to go from your piece of content, wherever it is, to your blog content library, because they want to see what you have to offer in your library. It's a library of anything people need. Okay, so you guys have been, a, so you are all in my custom audience. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You're in there. Now, what I want you to do over the cloud, here's, uh, there's perfect room for this. This would be a nice little piece of artwork. You're going to have to take a picture of this, but I want you to put this. I want you to put dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, piece of money pointing to that cloud. And I'm going to explain how you can monetize the hell out of that custom audience. You got them now. Whenever you're ready to pull that trigger, you're going to be ready. They're going to know who you are because I'm going to show you in a sec. You're going to be putting stuff in front of them all the time without them knowing subconsciously. So dollar sign to the FB pixel cloud, your custom audience. So every time you've got your immortal content going out there, I'll show you how to do that with Twitter there in a sec. There's a lot of ways to do it. There's tons of ways to do it, but I'm looking at the time. I want to go through everything here. Yeah, I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to jump right in. So you guys get the flow, your content, you know how to build it. You have a call to action. You're not asking for anything. You're the, you're the guy who's giving a guy or girl who's giving stuff for free. It makes no sense. People are, of course, people are going to keep following you. If your content is good over time and you come out with something, you come out with an offer, they're going to come in boatloads. As you're building your audience, my custom audience is huge just by doing this. I put out a piece of content. I guide people. This is just recent discoveries for me. I guide them to my content library. They go back to that thing all the time. I'm their go-to spot. Now, hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just keep going here. We got the face, Facebook pixel down here. That happens all in the background, okay? All in the background. If you're part of My Lead System Pro, there's some training, but don't get overwhelmed. I use it so simple. It's so simple. I don't do the rocket science Facebook pixel. I don't do that. I just capture one custom audience. It's called my blog. It's my blog. It's people who have seen me before. Those are the people. Because when you retarget to that audience, maybe I'll go through that at the end, but right now we've got to get to the content library itself. Ladies and gentlemen, when I started in My Lead System Pro, I knew nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing, a year and a half ago. Now, every time I needed to find something out, I went back and I searched in their content library. That's all I did. That's all I did. Then as I built my content, whenever people would ask me questions about something, instead of repeating, I would guide them to a piece of content. So I think just in a second here, I'm going to show you guys my content library, okay? And it's, it's in certain pieces, and people always go back all the time. I have the statistics. They go back. They search it. They find a piece of information, they keep going back, and they know that when a webinar is done, it's going right at the top of my content library. As a matter of fact, my Lead System Pro, here, here's what's coming after the FB Pixel. Because after the FB Pixel, they go to your blog. They're, they're at your blog, and they're going to be at your content library. That's where they're going to be. So you'll see how simple mine is. And you're going to see how people have everything they need already there. Not everything they need, but there's a lot of info. Now, here's where it gets interesting. As you put out content, you're going to add it to that. It's got to be searchable. It's got to be usable. It's got to be easy to navigate through. Because when you put a blog, I'm going to show you all this. But when you do a blog post after a blog post after a blog post, Everything's it's blog post after the black blog post, and even if you do categories, it's all you got to go through a ton of stuff. You can't find exactly what you need right away. It's hard. It's very difficult. You'll notice that. But when you go in something like My Lead System Pro, everything's categorized. You want video. You want you know what I mean. Everything's in pieces. Now, 
The reason I became well known and the reason Michelle Pesco Salido is well known, April Marie Tucker is well known, Mark Harbour is well known, Bert Bledsoe is well known, the list goes on, <clears throat> is because they have content in the MLSB library. They do. So if somebody searches, let's say Twitter, they might find Adam Chandler. They might find me, but I was, I trained in MLSP uh, probably a year ago, so me is older. They'll probably go to the most recent, I'll probably pop up in Twitter. If you type in Lanon, you wouldn't do that. But if you type in, I don't know, whatever. If you type in a certain keyword, you get training by leaders. It's always in there. And they're going to become influential to you. So now, could you imagine if the whole content library was you? And you gave value in every piece of content, and people kept seeing you, 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 you. That's exactly where you want to be. That's exact, and it's free. It's free. Don't worry about the money. You're going to get money out of your Facebook pixel here in a second. Right now, you're building the tightest relationship possible. When I do a webinar, people know that is going to be in my content library the next very next morning with the little new icon. So all they do is if they can't make it, they just go and they check on my content library and it becomes a habit. It becomes a habit. I have people that keep coming back and keep coming back just to see what's new. So that's to paint the picture of the content library. Now, here's where it gets a little weird. Uh, you know what should I share it with you now? Oh my God, did an hour go by? What the hell? You know what? I'm going to share it with you now because it'll, it'll paint a picture. But you know what? I'm going to talk about this now. I'm going to talk about this now. Because if you have a free content library, the thing is people will keep coming back. But they're, they're, going, to, they're going to check back for two reasons. Number one, to see what your new content is all about. To see what you've got new coming out. Keep an eye out there. And they're also going to use you as a reference, okay? Now, here's the third thing that many people don't talk about much, but I know from experience, people are going to refer you like crazy to others, like crazy, because you don't ask for all that information. They're going to be like, hey, John, check out this Malone guy. Check out, his, check out his content library, thewealthytrainer.com. Go check that guy out. He's got all this free lot training, all free. When John or Joe or the other guy goes, guess what happens? They go in there. As soon as they visit my blog, they go in there. Ref referrals. The day I stopped asking for capture page stuff, like right now I'm using them again because I want all the – I want my number one spots back in MLSP. I used to be number one on all the leads boards, and I'm like, ah, I want them back. I want, I want them this week. So all I do is I point my, point my traffic to, to the capture page. But I rather point them to my blog directly because it's my custom audience and it's more powerful because I could retarget. I don't know if I'm going too fast or if this makes any sense or. But, but it's, it's really valuable, this whole content library idea. You go to a lot of blogs, and you get the most recent blog. And if you want to search, you've got you know, you to search, find the search tool. Then you've got to go through article after article after article. You can't find everything just there. I hope that makes sense. But here's what I want to do. I want to talk to you about the categories of information. Here's where I'm going to get some heat. I know I will. Here's where I'm going to get some heat, but it's okay. I'm used to it, okay? A lot of people say one blog per topic. One blog, one topic. If you're into health and wellness, do a, do a wellness blog. Online marketing, do a marketing blog. Don't talk. Don't mix them up. Don't mix up your – if you went to go see uh, One Direction, a concert, don't put that in there. It's got nothing to do with online marketing or wellness. A lot of people say that, right? A lot. Most. 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 And I'm not arguing with that. However, however, your most valuable asset is you. It's you. It's your little own your corpse, as one of my friends says. Own your corpse. 
if you like peacocks, you like peacocks. If you like, I don't know, I don't know, what's a weird thing? I, well, peacocks isn't weird, but I don't know. If, I like I like watching reality TV. It's one of my junky pleasures. I love it. I love Survivor. I love uh, The Voice. I love uh, The Amer Amazing Race. I love all that stuff. It's not doing me any good up here, but it's my guilty little pleasure. Would I do a blog post on that? I would, and I will, and I have. So here's my point. For your blogs, I recommend having four blogs in one based on content categories. This has brought me more leads than ever, this concept right here, okay? So here's what I'm going to put under. Hear me out here, because this is a long-term thing for you guys, I hope. If you guys like stuff, people, it makes you very real. And people don't need to relate. People follow me and they hate reality TV, or they hate a lot of my jokes or a lot of the stuff I do, but they still, Keely, is Keely on? Keely Raven was on the webinar last week and she said, find your lane, find your lane, and you will get followers that agree with your stuff. And even the people that don't agree, they're still going to pick your category. They'll be like, I don't care much for his opinions, but I like his marketing stuff. So check this out. Here's where we're going with this. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited because you're gonna, your blog is going to be like your child. You're going to love it. You're going to be so passionate about contributing to it because it won't be all about Facebook pixels and marketing and this. And you'll be able to stuff you enjoy. Also, you need to keep the strategies coming. Stay in your lane, Patricia. Absolutely. Now, if you have a dark lane, don't put that on there. But uh, Or a slip-up lane, I should call it. Library. Content library. So here's what I'm going to ask you to put. Right under sticky blog, your put content library. So your artwork should look a little something like this. A little something like this. Sticky blog content library is what's going to be sticky on your blog. You can have an about, you can sell courses. We're gonna I'll show you that in a second. But right now, a couple of things to keep in mind. You have you have a good recipe here, guys. Because the whole everyone who look everyone who's gonna see that is in here. That's money. That's money. I'll tell you in a sec how to make money off that. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. It's a money printer. You print money, but you gotta work for your reputation, not reputation. You gotta work for your valuable. Keely, am I right? Pick your lane, food in the hair, right? I love it. She can't, it's so interesting. If you're true to yourself and you stick in your lane, but here, I, I gotta get into this because this is important. Under content library, I want you to, once again, do four, four boxes like this, four, four. Okay, and now, Here's where it gets weird. Here's where it doesn't get weird for me. I see it. I see it. I see. I see the long-term vision. I get it. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I'm gonna bring. Um, should I bring her up now or I'll bring her up later? Um, Lorenda Eddy. Lorenda Eddy is someone who recruited. She just recently recruited 112 people in one month personally into her MLM. She doesn't do what we do. All she did was she had basically had categories, okay? And these are the categories I'm pretty well going to share with you. And for her, one was building a business in MLM. One, I'll tell you what the categories are. Box number one. You're running out of room? That's, oh, <laughs> I still need your picture, Patricia, for the free gifts. Content library. You don't need much more room here, so you can use up the rest pretty much for these four boxes. I like messy diagrams. I think they're super cool and super real. So next thing is, and I'm going to show you mine, and you'll see that it's it's built like this. One, two, three, four. These are the four categories. Now again, this is what I recommend because keep in mind, guys, 
I get so many people contact me every day and I ask them, some of you know this, I go, what would you like to see? What would you like to hear? What would you like to give me more of? You guys know this, the ones who, if I don't contact you back, guys, it's nothing, it's nothing personal. I just get so many messages. So I'm able to build a strategy of what people want, okay? So let's go right to the, the obvious one, number two. I put it as number two for a reason. In the number two box, we're all going to want to have content that has to do with this, I hope, is online marketing. Number two, that's going to be a category that you should have. I don't care what you do. This is important. Everyone needs, everyone requires online marketing tips. So that could be network marketing, online network marketing, could be blogging, could be, it's, it's online marketing. Okay, so now that's category number two. What's category number one, three, and four? Okay, category number one, Cat and these are categories. They're not all mixed in a big mumble jump, a big, big mess. Not a big mess. You want it very clean, very easy to find. You'll see my blog. It's awesome. And I'm not saying that because it's my blog. I'm saying I wish I would have found someone with the MLSP is pretty good. It's not bad. They got a few things to learn from me, though. I'm just kidding. I shouldn't have said that. Don't nobody clip that out and get me in trouble. Oh, I got my eye, I got my eye on you guys. So number one, this is what I want you to put. A-S-K, an ask section, ask. Ask you, ask Gary V, ask Lalone, ask Lisa Torres, ask whoever. All the pros have ask videos, ask kidding not kidding ask this my friends that category alone I have something called the ask alone show I go I have my own hashtag ask alone think about having ask your name or your brand start thinking about that because once you start getting up there people are gonna ask you questions and instead of getting on the phone every time and saying wasting your time no you're not wasting time because you're helping one person but instead of doing that Take their question, write it down, and make a piece of content out of it. Exactly like Ask Gary Vee. These are categories, guys. So if somebody goes to your ask section, you'll see, like me, it tells them what to do if they have a question. So you got your ask, you got your online marketing. The, the other two, you got to bear with me here, guys. Just bear with me because just hear me out. Just hear me out because I know some of you may say, this is a little weird. This is a little, ask Roxy, bingo. Now, Roxanne, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna categorize these like I'm about to show you. The third one is going to be up to you. I want this to be either your passion or your MLM, but not the MLM company here. Don't, uh, don't get it twisted. If you're in a wellness company, it could be about wellness stuff. Ah, friggin' Apple, get away. Sorry, never get an apple. I'm just kidding. Again, I'll, I'll get some haters. Get out of here, you update. Okay, we're back. We're good. We're good. We almost got chopped by Apple. iTunes update. The third one, I use wellness. Health, fitness, wellness is for me. So remember, we're always leading with value. So for me, it's health and fitness tips. That's my category. It's a third category. The fourth one's my favorite, by the way. But So for me, I'm putting wellness. And I know if you, I would go with your MLM because the fourth category will take care of all your quirky stuff. I'm about to tell you what it is. But the wellness is a lot of people are wellness. It could be travel. I would kind of recommend putting out value in the, about the industry that your MLM network marketing company represents. That's what I would say for number three, because you wouldn't be in an MLM that you're not somewhat passionate about. I really hope not. For example, with myself, I know the travel industry 
is way bigger than the wellness industry, but I don't travel and it doesn't interest me. So, and wellness interests me. So I'm in the well, I'm in a wellness MLM because it doesn't make any sense to promote travel stuff. If I don't even like traveling, you get it. So I hope you're in an MLM that you're passionate about because that's really how you're going to be able to grow with that MLM. I hope that makes sense. That's a little off topic, but so if it's about travel, because I know a lot of people are in travel stuff, if it's about coffee, a lot of people are in coffee, gut wraps could be do research on that stuff, put up content about that. Indirect though, don't mention your company. Mention, you know, you I think you get it. That would be the third category. Now the fourth category, I highly recommend everyone has I recommend everyone has all of these. You'll see how it looks on my blog. It's quite fantastic, if I may say. Number four, random baby, random, random. Let's get random. Random is the best because random, it's all about life lessons, you know, speed bumps that you conquered, just something that you believe in. Like I'm a, I'm a big law of attraction guy, okay guys? It's huge for me. Meditation, huge for me. You, breathing, proper breathing. A lot of stuff that has nothing to do. Okay, let's go to, uh, I don't know, what do I like? Skateboarding, snowboarding, skiing, okay? Skiing's got nothing to do with wellness. Like really double diamonds and cliffs and going off cliffs on skis. I love it. But that's got nothing to do with marketing it's got nothing to do with wellness if you want to ask me a skiing question i'm not no expert i just i love doing it <clears throat> so if i have a video of me going off a cliff on skis that's what i call random that's random that's you that's lifestyle that stuff is i'll show you some of mine that's where i get a little bit silly really silly sometimes like my nose my smoking one and my I've, I've got some pretty controversial ones that went a little viral but that's the random category now i mean leave it at that because i want to share with you guys what, what the blog my blog looks like and i want to tell you guys a fancy blog is cool I, I get it but what's more important is the content the quality of the content and i'm saying that because people always pick on me they do they go, Mark Lalonde, when's he gonna update his blog? He's still using, he's still using that basic WordPress theme. Well, let me show you something. Um, I would drag somebody out, but okay, let me see. I wanna see what we got here. Uh, mixed martial arts event, awesome. Motorcycling, snowmobiling, love ping pong. These random posts are going to draw people in, and when they go to your content library, they're going to be in your custom audience now, and they're going to see what else you do, and they're going to start to like you. You. That's your most powerful asset. Put in your, uh, put in your stuff, guys. Put in your, uh, your Zumba. No. Juni? Zumba? We got to talk. Come on. Uh -uh. We got to talk. I'm doing something with Zumba people right now. We got to talk. I had no idea. I should have guessed it by your profile picture. Singing, Julia, you're kidding. Singing? What do you? Oh, Timo likes big butts, everybody. You didn't think I'd repeat that, eh, buddy? Watch what you say. I'm going to read it. <laughs> Everyone on the re RIP instructor here. Rhonda. Rhonda Cooper. I think I know who you are. I think I know who you are. You're in my same MLM. Don't say it though. Don't say it. we don't mention MLMs. Bowling, Patricia. Are you kidding or is that a joke? Pitbulls, yoga. Uh, events got one, Timo. There you go. Connection made on the show. Rock climbing, snowboarding, Tyler. Power boat racing. Dolores, are you kidding me? I'm reading this. Here's a live example. I'm interested. For real, singer. Julia is a pro singer. This dancing, hanging out with my daughter, video games, zombies. I'm liking you all more and more than a stupid, not stupid, than a repetitive marketing tip that I've heard a thousand times before. I'm just saying, I will listen to your marketing tip, but because I like homeschool, painting, music, like boxing, 
you know, you got to admit that is cool. That is cool. So hiking, run, keep hopping them in, Patty, hiking, running, bike, die, running, gardening, Debbie. Okay, this is getting into social hour. I'm going to share my screen and we are going to, this is my blog. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Content library. Content library. This is the baby. This is the content beast. I got categories. Okay, here's what I got. I said categories for me are the Ask Who Alone show, which if you go, look how laid out this is. It basically, here you can ask me on any of my categories. So my categories are wealth strategies. That's online marketing. Online marketing, entrepreneurship, network marketing, affiliate marketing, and brand marketing. That's what these blogs are about. Now, you know, that there's only four of them here. And that's because I haven't formatted all my content yet. And there will be some added every day, okay? But still, this is something for people to really get to know me. So tell me, are you a big chicken? Is 100 daily leads even possible? Live MLM prospecting call. That's a live call I did. Super cool stuff. I mean, I would want to see that live calls. Um, wealth strategies. That's what I go with. Wealth strategies. But that's the online marketing. What are value minions? Next category is health tips. That's what I do. Now, health tips, they're not up yet. I only have two videos for this. But I'm thinking about how I want to split everything up. I'll be giving wellness fitness and nutritional tips that'll go in there next random tips there we go life experiences and lessons learned sunday grateful sunday you know it's got nothing to do with any any marketing or wellness a beautiful spring day in canada what rhymes with fat face are you dreaming big enough my state of the art media studio today's office space Mark alone quits MLM, creating a new habit. Are you really fighting for success? They're awesome. I get awesome feedback on those, and they're going to keep getting added. So if somebody likes me, they're going to want to check out more of that. And the more you are in front of somebody's eyes, the better. So those are the three main ones. I also put interviews because interviews, that's another category you should probably think of. Interviews are, you're going to get interviewed a lot. I have about six of them that are not up yet. One with Vitaly Dubin, and I have a few that are left. They got to go up. March member of the month, Friday Night Live, online marketing interview. Generating hundreds of leads with, uh, that's with Norbert, actually. Yeah, that's with Norbert. So these are good. People want to see interviews. That'll come with time if you're just starting out, or you may be interviewing others. I love interviews. That's a good category. And of course, testimonials. You gotta have some of those. Those uh those come with time as well. And the Ask Alone show, which includes all of my categories. So if anybody has any question for me, now I'm up to episode number 60. I've only cataloged 23, but they're all coming. They're all coming. And these are the best, in my opinion, because these are real questions by real people, I say, my name is Mark Lillow, and if you have a wealth-related question, online marketing, entrepreneurship, network marketing, affiliate marketing, or brand marketing, then I go a health-related question, wellness, fitness, or nutrition, or a random question, please use the hashtag AskLalone anywhere on social media, and I may grab your question for an upcoming show. Final edited episodes of the Ask Will Alone show are numbered below with the newest episodes at the top. You see how clean that is? And the topics, like just working my leads live. People want to see that. Veterans gave us freedom. I'll give you a job freedom. That's, it's still a question that I got. It's all along questions. Are you treating your MLM like a hobby or a business? Are relationships that important? Your free Lalone training library. Keep calm and it will pay off. You have one shot, or do you? Are you being compliant with the rules of your MLM? Why would I ever give away my secrets? 
Relationship checkbox challenge. How many MLMs should you be doing at once? Follow four rules before getting on the phone. Online marketing training modules unlocked. Learn from your mistakes. Are you leading by example? Rob and duplicate. Do I still do home parties? Expose yourself through interviews. Prospecting at a One Direction show? Your chicken list is your biggest asset. Twitter cross promoting. What is Twitscope? Do you get nervous when recruiting up? Guys, this is awesome. No, I'm not saying because it's me. These are questions that people ask. But this is, and like I said, I'm up to 60. And look at the webinars section. I, I put up my webinars now. This is another section. Once you start doing webinars, you may want to do this too. You guys see how this is now a content library? There's so much value in this site. And there's no way you could look at it in one sitting. There's months of value here. So here's these. Oh, by the way, if you guys are in my Lead System Pro, if you are in MLSP, these highlighted, highlighted webinars, that's all the training I did with them in their system. So it's pretty cool. I even got one with just me and Brian Finale here. And that one is, uh, yeah, it's just me and Brian. So if you're logged into your MLSP interview, you see it. It's pretty cool. But that's an example of all the ones I've done in MLSP. You may not have that right away until you get on their panel. But I don't do them anymore. That's from the past. But still, it makes MLSP people realize that there is good stuff. If it's good enough to be an MLSP, and here are my webinars. This is the one from last weekend. Gold Nugget Blitz with top industry leaders. Remember Lisa Torres, Keisha Bass, Aaron Birch, Jen Johnson, Keeley, Roxanne, they're both on here. These are all here, and people keep coming back to see what the newest one is. So the one from today will be up here tomorrow. So that's what a content library looks like. Now, I'm going to come back to you because the thing is, this is no longer this is no longer just a blog this isn't a blog this is literally like a, a reference library someone sees you once and you've got that stuff in there they're going to share it like crazy and that ladies and gentlemen is how you build a sticky brand it's so sticky my brand right now the people, when I when I get in touch with them, they're saying, I got referred to by someone. Now I can't get off your site. Whenever I need to find something, I go to your site. If you type in anything in my search box, if you type in leads, there'll be like six, six webinars on how to get leads. Twitter, there'll be like four. So as I build it, remember, this is just piece by piece, piece by piece. You add it in those categories you're going to basically eventually become like a little mini MLSP of your own for free. For, for I'm not saying anything, it's not an MLSP because there's no tools, there's no, there's no, uh, are we done making the picture? Oh, you want to do the pic, you want to post it? Here's what I'll do for the end of the picture. I want you to put this in a little box if you got some room at the bottom. Double, w M O. So just write this, W-M-O in a circle, and then W-M-O, by the way, I would put DMO for daily method of operation, but some people don't do content every day. I don't, well, I'm starting to do it daily, but weekly method of operation, I guess I put W because even a couple of pieces of content per week is better than nothing if you're cataloging it. So WMO or you can put DMO, commit to a number of pieces. And when you have a number of pieces, put them in your content library and oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. My Twitter training, I'm going to go back and show you because 
I'm just gonna pop in. Let me see if Julia is still there. Awesome, Julia. I'm gonna borrow you again, okay? Just to make sure that the my screen share goes on. I gotta show you something quick, guys. Yeah, it's important. Once you got that under, you see immortal content. Remember we wrote immortal content? You could write this somewhere else though if you want, but if you go to asklalonde.com slash Twitter, A-S-K-L-A-L-O-N-D-E dot com slash Twitter, that's how I make my con that's one of the ways that I make my content immortal. New eyeballs see it all the time. About the fancy dancy uh, blog, about it being super fancy, this is like a very basic WordPress site. Well, check this out. That's Networking Times, the magazine, guys. That's Networking Times, the magazine. They use the exact same theme as I do. And so it's cool to have a nice looking blog, but the content is priority, the quality content. I just thought that was funny that they use the exact same. And will I upgrade mine? You know what? Let's just say it's not on my priority list. It's just not. So I want to show you that. And then what I'd like to show you is I'd like to show you how immortal content looks. Okay, so here's my Twitter account. This is my pinned tweet. I don't know if you know how to pin a tweet, but when your tweet is pinned, I'll blow that up a little bit. It's the first thing they see all the time because you'll see in my training, I keep spitting out content. Look at that. These are all pieces of content, guys. All the pieces of content, separate pieces of content. So if somebody tickles someone fancy, when you get, well, I don't know if you have, you, you're not going to have 240,000 followers. That's a little ridiculous. But even if you had 10,000, think of having 10,000 and this going out all the time. When they click this, Ferraris, Pixels, and Custom Audience, guess where they go? They go to my custom, my content library. And not only do they come to my content library, they go in that magical money cloud. Remember the cloud, your custom audience? Uh, is that all I wanted to show you? I think that's why I came back here. Okay, that's cool. And now I'm going to come back to you because I'm going to show you how to monetize. Ooh, it's time has flown. First of all, you guys have this? You guys have this? Take a picture, put it on your wall, and tag me, Mark M. Lalonde. And just tag me with this. Put Say whatever you want to say. Like I said, say I'm annoying if you want, but put that picture. I'll see that picture. I'll share it on my wall, and I'm going to message you directly those three free audio books that completely changed my life. They're not light versions. They're not previews. They're the full, full audio books. You're going to love them. Perfect. So that's my blog. Uh, let me see. Let me see. And for the money cloud, guys. Once you have people going to your content library and they're always going to see your stuff because with Facebook pixels, you can target your custom audience for pennies, for pennies. Should I share with you how I do that? I don't think we have much time. It's been an hour and a half. We're going to have a whole Facebook pixel training, how not to pay a dollar or 50 cents per lead or per registration or per whatever you want. Because here's the deal. When you have that custom audience, if I sell something on that custom audience, like guide them to a paid webinar or an affiliate link, or I could grab a product from, uh, no, you can't do that. Uh, not MLSP, but ClickBank. ClickBank, you guys do ClickBank. The reason you can't do MLSP is because once somebody is your mastery member, whatever they buy, your sponsor gets credit. So if I if I promote a Facebook course from MLSP and Yvette Briscoe buys it from my link, it won't matter. Her sponsor will get the commission, which is cool for the sponsor, 
but when I promote MLSP products, I got to have that in mind. Does that make sense? If they're already MLSP members. So if I'm promoting Ray Higgins three minute expert and Wendy is all, Thomas, anyone Keely is already in MLSP and they buy it through my link, her sponsor is going to get the commission. The only way I'll get the commission is if I'm not, but here's my deal. Here's what I'm saying tomorrow. If I wanted to use a ClickBank product, because that's free for all, and I get a 50% commission, and I give I promote that to my custom audience, they're going to buy because they know me. If I do a video and I say, guys, this is the real deal, you know, pick this up. It's going to change your life. They're going to buy. They're your custom audience. They know you. They know, like, and trust you. That's why it's way more powerful and you could keep marketing to them all the time for the money webinars, especially your own. That's the way you should be thinking. You should be thinking your own stuff eventually. Membership sites, whatever. If you're new, it may be a little foreign to you. You may be saying, how am I going to do my own course? It'll become easy after a while. Educate yourself with the three books I send you. It's a good start. It's a good start. And you can make your own course. It's not hard. It's not hard to make your own course and charge 500 bucks for it and target it to your custom audience. I'm just saying it's not. It's not. But you have to provide the value first. So you guys got you guys got my instructions. And that's if you want the free books, and they're they're awesome. They're awesome. You're gonna love them. You need them. And it's 3:30. How the heck did that happen? But it's okay. So guys. Check out my content library. <laughs> so I'm going to check out the QA because there's a lot of people here. That's all. I, that's what. It's not all I got for you. It's it's what I got for you. And start thinking about it. And again, this is an individual thing, right? Some people are like, no, I don't want to talk about myself, or no, I don't want to talk about uh, my. I just want to talk about marketing and keep it like that. Well, then do that. Okay, that's up to you. That's up to you. I don't agree, but I don't have to agree. Why would you know? I don't have to agree. It's up to you. But I know what I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, let's take a look here. What if you don't have an MLM? I would just share your passion. I would share your passion. When, uh, what's her name again? Lorenda Eddy, when she started sharing about peacocks and makeup, and she started just sharing stuff that she liked, like eyeliner, and it wasn't even her MLM. Her MLM was completely different. When she just started being real with things that she liked, then that would be what I would share, Yvette. I would put out those posts. I would put out videos and I would categorize them. Some people mix them all together, but I would definitely categorize them. Um, I want to see your uh, your formulas, your sticky brand formulas. How difficult is it to create a website that is searchable like yours? What are the steps for newbies? Yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's I mean, it's not easy. I should never have said that. It's a, it's a little challenging, but it's doable if you have the right steps. And I believe my Lead System Pro has the. I know they have their own blog. They have a MLSP sites. So Ray, I think it wouldn't be that hard. I could show you the code because I just use anchors and I code it in. But that would be something offline. Well, I, no, I'm not going to show. It's just anchors, like href anchors that I point to the pages and anchor them. Basically, links. Basically, I have one page. I build all the links and I point the links to the blog posts. So it's a it's a little little bit of figuring out, but not much. Oh, if we already have our blogs categorized, Teresa Lovelace asks. If we already have our blogs categorized, should we now reorder everything? No. Um, categorized. Do you mean by default the way WordPress does it? Yeah, I think you mean the way WordPress does it, right? If you click category. Because if you do that, 
you get the entire blog post, then you get the other blog post, then you get the other blog post, then you get a scroll bar like this after a while, then you go, go next page, next page, next page. You can't get just the links, just the, the, the headings. I think that's what you mean. So I would say you just got to create that extra, extra, okay. Um, the, the extra step of getting them out down like that. I hope that answers that question. Let me know in the chat. Um, where's the line? Oh, Julia asks, hey, friend. Hey, friend. Where's the line between random and relevant lifestyle? Do you care if something is totally random? That's up to you, my friend, <laughs> because I, I love random stuff. I mean, the one where I'm smoking a cigarette, like creating a new habit, I start smoking on a, puffing on a cigarette. That one got a lot of backlash, got a lot of laughs. I got a few like that. And it's like totally random, but that's because who I am. I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. I don't take life seriously too much, unless it's business and I'm serious. But so that's up to you. That's you're shaping your brand. So that's up to you. You've got cool. You've got your, you are, you have a very very strong brand, Julia. I mean, keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> um, if someone asks what you do. How would you say about MLSP? What I do, I'm a network marketer, Ollie. Ollie Smith, right? Is it Ollie Smith? I just see Ollie. Um, if someone asks you what you do, how would you say about MLSP? I think you mean, would I pitch MLSP? I rarely do. The only time I pitch MLSP is if they, uh, they're just uh, one question at a time here. Whoa. The only reason I pitch MLSP is if they're not interested in my MLM and, or if I'm going for a new rank, like I'm going for Honey Badger there this week. And I'm like, I got to get 30 people in or something, 40 people in, 30 or 40 more people in. Cause I, if you, if I don't keep going, attrition catches. So I'm, I'm on a recruiting spree right now for MLSP. So what I say is I guide them to my what is MLSP website. What is MLSP.com? You can register for a replicated site for free if you guys want. It helps me answer questions. If you want to know what that's about, go to thewealthytrainer.com slash what is MLSP. No spaces, no dashes. Thewealthytrainer.com slash what is MLSP? No spaces, no dashes. And that's going to explain what that site's about. That's where I guide them and they convert very well. Okay, can you show me your sheet again so I can get a look to see if it's close? Yep. Actually, I'll make a nice screenshot. Sticky brand formula. Sticky content. Over deliver for free. In your content, you need the intro, the question, the content, the call to action. My call to action is content library. I want to be congruent when I send them over to my content library. So if, the, if that piece of content is about fitness, I'm going to send them to the section in my content library that is wellness right here. Make sense? Then they go into my, F, my custom audience through the Facebook cloud. Facebook cloud, I just drew a cloud for no, no real reason. Then they go to your sticky blog. And the reason your blog is sticky, because it's a content library full of value. And then the sections I like, to, I like to do is an ask section, an online marketing section, a wellness section, because I'm into wellness, and a random section. And I also have the interview section. I have the testimonial section. And now I have the webinar section. And then below is your weekly method of operation. Just commit to a number of pieces, write it down, and get them down, hell or high water. And the webinar section kind of happened organically, guys, because it started with one, one webinar, then two, then three. Then I'm like, hey, I have a bunch in MLSP. I'll just point members there. And also, it says on my blog, it says, 
if you want these, you gotta be in MLSP because you need to log in. And if you're not, here's a, here's the sign up link. So I get a lot of signups like that just organically too. And that's just, yeah, but that's only if you, if you wait, when, I don't know if we have any trainers here. We do, we do. We have, a, I don't know if we have any L5s. We got, we got some trainers. Keely, I think you teach in MLSP. A few people here, I think. If you don't, you probably will. I mean, once you hit all four, they're going to ask you. Oh, the titles of the books. Number one is GoPro by Eric Worre. I know a lot of you have read it, but in audio form, it's amazing. It's amazing. And he's reading it too. So you get the full version of GoPro. I don't know if you want to spread the word, if there's a copyright thing, but it's there for you. Anyways, I'll send you the link to that. And the second book is... Oh, you're not teaching in there yet, Keely? Well, they're going to ask you. You've been member. Well, it's up to you if you want to teach. It's a good platform. Teaching in MLSP, launch me. Then you could do your own thing. It's or stick around, but you'll probably want to. It's a good start. Being a regular uh, teacher in there, like doing the Wednesday webinars, and yeah, it's like it's it's a real shortcut. It's a shortcut. Like four months in, I got member of the month. Then I started doing webinars by myself, like the Tuesday ones for MLSP. And it's like, then you're like shortcut. It's like in another three months, I was everywhere. So it's awesome. Yeah, you, yeah, you're going to be, you'll be teaching there in no time. Um, the books, number one, GoPro. The number two is Jim Rohn, man. His network marketing course is one DVD. It's short. I believe it's less than an hour. I have it up there, the full version. So you, and that's probably, that's probably my favorite. Oh, they're both good. They're both good. And the third one is Robert Kiyosaki on network marketing. So those three audio books, you can go back, listen to them as often as you want. I do. I go. That's so post this on your wall and tag me and tag me. So I see it. Right away, I'm going to reply to you. I'm going to message you. If we're not friends, check your other folder, okay, guys? Check your other folder. And that'll be awesome. So that's it, guys. We're good to go. I've answered most of your questions. I can't go through them. The scroll bar is like that again. But I didn't mean to play favorites. I just grabbed the first ones I can. This webinar, if you want to share with your friends, you can point them to my content library. It'll be up in the webinar section. See what I did there? See what I did? You can use that all the time. You meet somebody on the street. You don't have to say, what's your email? You just say, go check out my content library at thewealthytrainer.com. I got plenty of training there. They're going to find what they want. It's genius. It's genius. So guys, have an awesome, awesome Sunday. I'm looking out for those posts. Tag me with your photo of your sticky brand formula and i'll send you those books and soak soak it in soak it in love you guys i will see you all on social media have an awesome awesome week thanks for coming <laughs>